there, Doc. Dr. Scott Doherty from Cairo Launch here, coming today from Coronado Beach in Coronado, California, just across the way here from uh, San Diego. I've actually finished up my work for the week, so I, uh, I fly home tomorrow. I figure I might as well get uh, some, some beach time in. So I'm completely unplugged right now, only have my phone, so I'm going to make this video for you. Uh, just enjoying my day. Just got done with a little body surfing and uh, thought I'd sit down and chat with you a little bit. Uh, I'm sure you have the sound of waves crashing. It's a little windy here, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But I just mentioned that uh, I'm currently unplugged. Um, and I think a lot of us go through a process of unplugging on a special event, like a beach day or something like that. We might turn off the phone, although I see plenty of people still doing business around here. But what I want to talk to you about today is uh, unplugging on a normal day. Uh, and I want to give you some tips on how to unplug. And I guess talk to you a little bit about why to unplug. And, and you see how it is these days. You see... Uh, you go out to a restaurant and there's a couple and they both have their phone or a whole family uh, and all the kids there has got their own phone and they're, they're in their phone they're not paying attention to anybody else um, and you know I think we all say it's annoying but then a lot of us do it also uh, but I'm going to recommend you get unplugged during your work day and uh, I recommend that because a lot of people go through their life with all these distractions you know uh, you know how your phone is uh, you pick it up to do one thing and it leads to another and leads to another and all of a sudden you're reading a blog you didn't intend to, leave, to read uh, and you didn't get done what you were supposed to get done. Or you start answering emails, you start dealing with everybody else's agenda and you don't get your stuff done. Uh, so I have five little tips, five things for you to work on to unplug in your daily routine. Number one is first thing in the morning. Uh, you know, too many of us are in the habit of just reaching over the nightstand, grabbing our phone, uh, getting started. I'll be honest, a lot of these things that I, I'm gonna talk about, I used to be guilty of. Uh, I've cut them out of my life and I'm much, much happier and much more productive. Uh, so grabbing your off the nightstand, checking your email, first thing in your mind obviously is everybody else's agenda. Uh, I always say if you win the morning, you win the day. Uh, I didn't make up that saying. I know I read it somewhere, so, so don't quote me on it, I, but I don't know who to quote on it. I don't know who to attribute it to. But if you win the morning, you win the day. Uh, so that first hour of every morning, do not pick up your phone, do not check email, do not check social media. My recommendation is to spend that time working on you. Uh, my first hour of the day is always taking my, my dog Lucy for a little walk. Uh, some meditation, a light workout at that time. I do my, my real workout later in the day. Um, and uh, I start looking at what I need to do that day. I start preparing my day of the things that I need to get done for myself. And then, uh, you know, a lot of us have the morning routine having to get the, kid, the kids ready. Uh, and if that's your thing, you wake right up, start working on the kids and everybody else's agenda. I recommend waking up an hour earlier. Um, well, that's not really an unplugged technique. That's a different technique. But um, wake up an hour earlier. Take care of yourself. Do not uh, get distracted by the phone. And then, uh, like I said, for me, that means 7.30, I'm in the house uh, taking care of the kids, getting them ready for school until 8.30. Then I go to work. Then I check my email. Then I get into the, the, the mess of my day. Um, number two is last thing at night, uh, the last hour before bed. If you're looking at your phone with that blue light or whatever they say it is, I've read the studies. I don't know uh, what all the technical terms are, but you know, you're firing off all these, uh, this neurology, and it allows you, you know, doesn't allow you to get to sleep. It also puts those things that you're looking at as the last thing in your mind. And I think you should be setting your agenda again for tomorrow. Uh, that should be what's last in your mind. So last hour before bed, get a good book. Uh, you know, spend some time with the spouse. Um, you know, do some other things that are more productive and more calming, getting you ready for bed. Uh, number three tip I have for you is to find an hour every week and stick to it every week. Make a date with yourself where you're going to unplug. And... Uh, I recommend going to a little coffee shop, take a book, do not take any uh, technology, uh, just sit down, people watch, read your book, uh, do something other than looking at a screen at that time, just to kind of get in the habit of it. Uh, number four would be that um, at dinner or when you're with somebody in front of anybody, you know, I, I see a lot of clients and, and obviously, obviously I don't hate technology. Uh, you know, you and I wouldn't be able to have this conversation if it wasn't for social media and for, for technology. So. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of using it, but when you're with somebody, be with that somebody. Uh, any one of my clients will tell you that they've never seen me with my phone in my hands. Uh, it's usually in my pocket, uh, and when I get a chance, I check it, but if I'm talking to somebody or if I'm engaged, I never pull that thing out. Uh, there's no notifications on for me. That's just a personal thing. I'm not recommending that for you, but uh, I don't have notifications on. You know, People rarely get a quick response from me, but they always get a response, but uh, they also understand that I'm busy. and. and I do that so that I can take care of the people in front of me and the agenda that I have in front of me. So, uh, and the fifth um, tip I have for you is uh, find a couple days every month where you go on a little technology fast. You know, a, a complete 
technology free diet, uh, two, three days at a time, a full weekend. Uh, it doesn't have to be a special weekend, just a time where you turn off the phone, you turn off your iPad, you know, you can still watch TV, don't get me wrong, uh, but really spend two or three days just getting away from it. Put a little autoresponder on uh, your email saying, hey, I'm taking a little break, I'll get back to you in a couple of days, thanks for your patience, something of that nature, but just get away, decompress from all that technology that's flashing at us all the time. Uh, but if you take the time to run those five steps, uh, each one of them, I really think you're gonna get more productive, which is really my goal here. It's not about anti-technology. Uh, it's that if you can focus on the things that you're supposed to be doing and not be distracted by everybody else's agenda, you're gonna get a lot more done. Uh, but I also think the, you know these, these phones are addictive. Uh, having them with us all the time is, again, good for some things, but uh, not good for others. And I think it's just, as a, as a culture, changed us uh, in what we pay attention to. So I'm recommending you pay attention to the things in front of you, pay attention to your agenda, the things that you want to get done in the course of the day, and less attention, attention to your technology. Unplug every once in a while, I guarantee you'll be a lot happier. Hey there, as I'm sure you know, I'm out on my U.S. tour now, uh, enjoying uh, some beach living, every chance I get, but going to some other areas as well. Actually, I'm going to be all over the country here in the next few months. Uh, so, I'm running around doing practice evaluations, working with some clients. Uh, my practice evaluations, I'm running for only $2.95 right now, they're normally $9.95. Uh, I come into your office, I evaluate uh, basically everything in your practice. I get to meet you personally, I get to tour the site. Uh, I do a real nice job of those evaluations. As far as I can tell, everybody's been very happy. And if you're not happy, I give you your money back plus a steak dinner, so you can't beat that. So if you're interested in, while I'm traveling around and having me coming out to uh, evaluate your practice, uh, there's probably a link down below or something. If not, go to my uh, website, it's chirolaunch.com. Uh, look around there a little bit, uh, find out what I do. Uh, I'd love to be able to help you put together a nice strategic action plan to help you uh, reach your goals. So uh, I'm gonna go hit the waves here in a little bit, and I'll talk to you soon.